Good evening and welcome to the service of Choral Evensong being broadcast from the chapel of Cheltenham College. The choir will continue our worship for us now by singing verses from Psalm 104. First lesson is taken from the seventh chapter of the prophet Daniel. As I looked, thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days took his seat. His raiment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and came forth from before him. A thousand thousand served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. I looked then because of the sound of the great words which the horn was speaking, and as I looked, the beast was slain, and its body destroyed and given over to be burned with fire. As for the rest of the beasts, their dominion was taken away, but their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. I saw in the night visions, and behold, with clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man, and he came to the Ancient of Days and was presented before him. and. To him was given dominion, and glory, and kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, one that shall not be destroyed. Here ends the first lesson. Thank you. 
The second lesson is taken from the first chapter of the Epistles to the Ephesians. Ever since I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks to God for you. I remember you in my prayers and ask the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, to give you the Spirit who will make you wise and reveal God to you so that you will know him. I ask that your minds may be opened to see his light so that you will know what is the hope to which he has called you. How rich are the wonderful blessings he promises his people and how very great is his power at work in us who believe. This power working in us is the same as the mighty strength which he used when he raised Christ from death and seated him at his right side in the heavenly world. Christ rules there. Above all heavenly rulers, authorities, powers, and lords, he has a title superior to all titles of authority in this world and in the next. God put all things under Christ's feet and gave him to the church as supreme Lord over all things. The church is Christ's body, the completion of him who himself completes all things everywhere. Here ends the lesson. Turn now to face the high altar and recite the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. 
he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. 
I will now sing the anthem, The Lord Bless You and Keep You, by John Rutter. Let us pray. First, I invite you to hold before God in prayer the crisis in the Middle East, the hostility between the Palestinian territories and the nation of Israel. Almighty God, the Father of all mankind, we pray thee to turn to thyself the hearts of all peoples and their rulers, that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, peace may be established among the nations on the foundation of justice, righteousness, and truth. Through him who was lifted up on the cross to draw all men unto himself, even thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I invite you to pray for all those who are sick in our land, those suffering especially from the effects of the coronavirus. We pray this day especially 
for all doctors and nurses and all those involved in the vaccination effort. O Lord Jesus Christ, who alone has power over life and death, over health and sickness, give skill, wisdom, and gentleness to doctors and nurses and all who minister to the sick, that always bearing about thy presence with them, they may not only heal, but bless, and shine as lamps of hope in the darkest hours of distress and fear, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit livest and reignest ever one God, world without end. Amen. And I invite you to draw your prayers to a close, saying with me, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Would you please stand for the blessing? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.